Hey guys. Okay. Continuation from yesterday. This is what happened last night. So last night I am. How can I want to start this? I'm watching a hockey game. It was uh. I forgot who was playing. I forgot who was playing. But I'm watching a hockey game. I'm making trains, and uh, in the illusion. This is all spirit, spiritual. All of a sudden I start feeling my toes are getting hot. I'm getting like uh, pin pricks at the end of my toes. And I know somebody's stealing my energy. And I'm like, oh fuck, here we go, right? So I'm like, all right. So by the time I went to bed, The, the guy, people that were looking over me, I don't even know who they are. I've never met them. I got new people watching over me. And it, it's irritating because I don't know them. And I don't have Christ in me. But I'm with them. And anyway, the, there's co still cops following me around. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, shit. So someone's sucking my energy. As I'm watching the hockey game. Everybody starts screaming. So I, I press pause, turn off the light, and I listen. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? And they go, you're bleeding. And I'm like, oh, shit. So, bleeding to them, the term bleeding in the spirit world is energies coming out. The, the slimy ectoplasm, plasma stuff from a wound. Now, I was supposed to be safe in this house, in a safe house. Well, I lay down and start meditating so I can get healed and find out how bad it is because they can't see inside me until I lay down and meditate. I was watching a hockey game and I'm pumping up this bad energy and I could feel the energy, it was hurting and everybody's screaming at me so I better listen to find out what's going on. So I lay down, meditate and Christ, Christ that's watching over me and I think there's a cop there, a security guard or something. They found three holes in my back. And it wasn't bad. But they found three holes in my back. Now my wife said she 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 saw someone around me pass like move around me. But it was only for a second. And then they found the three holes and the energy started coming out of my head so turns out one of the hit people the, I don't have to call him crazy Christ anymore or crazy Jesus he's just crazy crazy guy he's not a Jesus anymore the hit still out this guy came at me and stabbed me in St. Lucian okay and it was his kid the same kid that poked me with the fucking stick laying in my bed. Same one, I think it was anyway. It's looked and looked and sounded like it. Well I got his face chewed off from my dog. So yeah, I ain't I ain't checked my dog in a while either. Anyway. So they take me to the hospital and the nurse is stitching it up. I got a bunch of stitches. Nothing. It, was, it didn't last very long. So after that was over, it took about a half an hour. I got back up, watched it, the rest of the hockey game. And uh, that was it. Then my toes started tingling and pink. So I lay down, and I'm going to bed now. It's like one o'clock. I lay down and go to bed. And I tell him, yeah, he's sucking my energy. I know the crazy, crazy guy is down in the illusion, and he's sucking my energy. I can feel it. I can feel it. So... I don't know what they did about it. I fell asleep. I fall asleep and I have a I have dreams over and over and over and over about ex-girlfriends coming over or I have dreams with my ex-girlfriends and they're all riled up and ready to go and they're trying to get me horny, right? They're trying to get me to have sex with them. And I don't, and it was over and over and over and over, all of them, and I couldn't understand it.
And then I woke up. I woke up, and I knew it was X crazy Jesus. So what he does is he gets inside your head. He takes, and he knows like because he used to be in a Christ that was over me and watching me. So anyway, he gives me sex dreams using my ex girlfriends. I get horny, and I I have sex with uh, my ex girlfriend, but it ain't my ex girlfriend. It's crazy Jesus. But in the dream, it's my ex girlfriend. And that's how he manipulates you. And that's what he was doing to me. And that's what made this whole fucking war start. Now, I realized that I didn't have sex with any of them. And, which was, I was thankful for, because it was him. Um, and I could see energy leaving me. He's like, hey, he's actually pulling me down pulling me down and my family's trying to hold me up the whole time right they're holding me up so I don't go down but I'm trying to I'm, he's pulling me down he's pulling the energy out of me he's pulling all my energy right down to him and I can see him down there he's in a jail cell clear and simple I can see him walking around actually he wasn't he was laying in his bed he was laying in the bed meditating and, uh, and that's what he's doing Sucking my energy, and so I'm like, oh, fuck. So I, I'm laying there, and he's laughing and everything. He goes, that guy, he's, he's bragging about his uh, ability to do this. And I go, you want some ability, you motherfucker? And I'm like, how about this? And I went, I read, I didn't even do nothing. I just recalled all my energy, <laughs> sucked it all back, and he got pissed. And I go, and I look at the clock. I look at the clock, and it was four hours later. I was sleeping for four hours. I go, how was four hours of work gone in like five seconds <laughs> or one second? <laughs> and he's like, you're freaking out. He was freaking out because I, I pulled all the energy. What he wants is my energy because he takes that energy, puts it in his head and has sex with it and gets off on it. And that's, that's his little trick. That's his thing. And uh, anyway, and he spent four hours or more stealing my energy. <sighs> Finally... That's all over with. And I'm laying there and I go into my cell phone. I'm just laying there. Listening to what's going on. I don't. I try to push him away. I, I, was like, I push him away and block him. And I come back. To say an illusion world where I was supposed to be. And I'm laying there. I'm doing nothing. And all of a sudden. I see my innocence. He's messing around. You can see little hands in my chest. He's messing around. And he has a piece of paper. And a file. He has a piece of paper and a pile of filings, like metal filings. And he goes, look close. And I looked real close. And they were all circle, double circle razor blades, microscopic. And he goes, next time, the fucker, next time he starts taking your energy, which will be in a few minutes, dump these in the energy. And it'll, it'll mess them up. And I'm like, ooh, yeah, right? It's so all sure as shit. He starts pulling my energy again. I just let it go. I let him do what he wants. I just let go. I let him take the energy. So he's taking my energy again, the crazy guy down there. And he has a plastic bottle. My innocence has a plastic bottle he created. And he takes the this, this shavings. He goes, and it fills up this little plastic bottle. And he goes, now... Nah, when there's a good flow going, I'll dump the energy, I'll dump the filings in the energy. I go, okay, cool. And so, so, <laughs> after about five minutes, there's a good flow of energy going down to this guy, and he's, he's sucking it all in and out. It takes a lot of effort, if you don't know what you're doing, to suck someone's energy out. And he's sucking it out of my sex chakra, and my root chakra, and my uh, uh, solar plexus. He's sucking the energy out, the crazy guy down below in jail. And I'm thinking, why is this guy still around, right? Why is this guy still around? I asked the guard that was watching me, or another Jesus, and they said they're, they're processing. All the prisoners are in there, in this place. I'm like, great, right underneath me. That's, that's pretty fucking smart. 
that doesn't make sense. The red flag went up. So there's more going on. I don't know what it is yet. So he's sucking on my energy, and my uh, <laughs> my innocence goes. <laughs> it taps this metal filings of razor blades in the energy like that, and now. Uh, He's sucking up all the energy, I'm letting it go, and he dumps like almost the whole bottle over a period of a minute into this energy. And the guy down there, he sucks it all up into himself, because he loves it, right? It's in his head, it's in his skin. <laughs> and then as he's dumping it, I have a shit in my underwear, and I fucking go <laughs> and I mash it all up, and then I... After the metal filings were in there, I got some shitty underwear, and I, it is right out of my rectum, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, I took my, my uh, underwear, and I threw it in the in the energy, and it went down there with it. it went right into the, like, the vortex. Whoop, right down to them. And all of a sudden, I'm laying there, and I go, I wonder how long this is going to take. Oh, fuck! <laughs> laughing my ass off. The guy found the energy, so... We dumped all the metal filings, but you don't know that. You don't know, because you can't feel the metal filings. I mean, was, he wasn't expecting it. But I gave him the shitty underwear to distract him, okay? So if, if he had a clue something was going on with the metal filings, well, he don't know, because he, he just sucked up and it was hands. <laughs> The shitty underwear. And so he's down there screaming about the shitty underwear. <laughs> and I go, <laughs> I thought to myself, I wonder how long it's going to take until he finds out the metal, the metal razor blades are in there, the metal file. And uh, it was about five minutes later, he starts scratching. He goes, something's wrong. Something's wrong. I can hear him. I'm right close to him. Not close, but, I, you know, I can hear him down there screaming. And he's like, something's wrong. And he's scratching, he's scratching like this. He's like, ah. <laughs> then I guess he's screaming and yelling, something's wrong, something's wrong. And uh, the guards come in. I think a, a, a Christ comes into the into the jail cell. <laughs> and the guy's flipping out. He goes, quit scratching yourself. Because he's scratching his own skin off. He's literally scratching his skins off. Cause it, it's so itchy, and, uh, and I go, I go. Next time, he goes. Oh, I, my innocence screamed down to him something. I I forgot what it was some smart ass comment. And so Jesus goes, "What did you do? What did you do?" Well, I go. He was sucking my energy all night, and since you guys wouldn't help me, you're supposed to be on top of this. I took care of it myself. He goes, "What did you do?" And I. My innocence goes, I made metal razor blades, shrunk them down microscopic and put them in a bottle, this one, and this is what he's got in him. And he goes, so uh, they go back down there, and they're farting, screwing around with him, trying to figure out how to get these metal filings out of his being. <laughs> his whole fucking body, he's like, ah! That's beautiful. Anyway. So he's covered in metal filings. It's going to take him eons to get all that stuff out. I don't even know. You got to will him out, I guess. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I would do, will him out. Um, and then the, the, the Jesus Christ that was down there watching the whole thing, taking care of it, or him, came back to me and goes, How did you do that? And he goes, Well, I made him. <laughs> and it just goes, I made him. And I go, No one would help me, so I helped myself. And I, and he goes, how do we get these things out of them? And he goes, you know, that's <laughs> the point. <laughs> and, like, and he goes, you know, take care of it. So my innocence, he makes this big ass magnet. It was like a magnet, but it was really powerful. And he goes, give him this magnet. Just run it over top of his body and it'll take the filings out of him. And I'm like, don't give him the antidote. Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? Don't let that fucker suffer, right? For a while. Anyway, they went down there and it was working. The last I heard, it was working. So I go, tomorrow, if you do this, I'm making plastic ones. <laughs> plastic filings, you know. 
because the magnet won't work on them. I go, that's your fucking last warning. You leave me alone or I'm making plastic ones no more. So that's done. And they caught the kid that stabbed me, by the way. They put him in there with his dad, so they're all down there making new plans. Great stuff, eh? So, I spent four hours, you know, all night having sex with ex-girlfriends, or not trying. Well, horny. My ex-girlfriends were making me horny, and it was just him the whole time. Then, I dumped the file into him. So, after all that was done, I'm like, why do they got him below me? Why? They put security guards around me to keep me safe. Yet, they put him right below me. Like, he's down there a long ways. In a jail somewhere. In the illusion. Down there. Way down. But, when you're sleeping and he pulls you, you go right down. You go right down. I'm, I'm above the jail. So, I'm thinking, why would they do that? There's something going on between me and this guy. And I asked, I asked my wife and I asked a couple people that were around me. I'm going, there's something going on between me and this guy. And I got to solve it, me inside. And I go, how come I can't? It always ends up. I'm with this guy, no matter what. I want him gone as fast as he, and they go, quit seeking revenge and quit thinking about him. Let him go. Get rid of him. Out of your reality. Pray to that end. And I go, I don't want revenge anymore. I just want him to go away. And he goes, but every time he does something to you, you, you get revenge on him. And he turns it around and gets it on you. He started this. He's a fucking Jesus Christ. He has the authority and all that stuff to take care of me, compassion, love, under under Christ to help heal me. And what did he use it for? He inverted my dreams. He inverted everything to get the secrets, to breach the secrets and sell them. It had nothing to do with Christ. But it was under your watch. No one did a goddamn thing. Until I picked up that white fucking bar out of mom's, out of my inner light, and bulldozed everything he is in St. Lucian. I go, then everybody got wise. Then shit started happening. After I got the shotgun three times and blew his fucking head off, then people started watching. Only then. Nobody came to help me when I asked for it. Nobody. And I go, bullshit. I go, I'm fucking innocent. I want that fucker gone. Right? Period. Well, he's uh, being sentenced and everything, so they got to keep him local. And I'm going, he should be on the fucking moon like you said. I go, he goes, maybe he'll go there. I don't know. But until he gets sentenced, or he, hears, he has his hearings and sentencing and everything, he's staying local. Underneath of me. So I gotta figure out a way to keep us separated. I don't know. So Christ told me, don't seek revenge. Give him love. Don't think about him. Slowly, in my being, slowly, let him go. This part of my life is over. Let it go. He goes, quit engaging him. I go, okay. So quit engaging him. Don't talk to him. Don't think about him. Move on to better things and he'll slowly fade away into nothingness. And I go, exactly. But I go, I need a little help from you guys to quit him sucking my fucking energy all night. I, four hours of having sex with my fucking girlfriends. Well, I didn't have sex with them, but they're making me horny. Walking around naked, doing all that stuff. I'm a, I'm a hard on for four hours, and the whole time it was him doing that to me. I go, you know how frustrating that is? God damn. And I'm thinking, just make some fucking hand grenades. Drop them down there to jail cell. <laughs> and I can do it too. Fucking right, I can. But the metal filings were good. 
And I told him, I told the priest, I told him, I go, tomorrow I'm making plastic ones. The next time he's pulling my energy, I'm making plastic filings, razor blade filings. And I'm sitting there. So if you guys got this problem, and you know how to do this, if there's a vampire on the earth sucking your energy, just dump a bunch of fucking metal filings, razor blade filings. What you do is, you take the, ra the file, the filing, microscopic, and you make it this big. And then you sharpen it. Right? Or just envision what you want. And then shrink it back down. And then make a bowl full. Make a bowl. All it's just thought. And you create just like that. That's how you get rid of your vampires. And they'll be scratching their skins off. Too stupid to make a even if they can't create. Hey, how are you going to create a high-powered magnet to suck them all out of your skins in the flesh? Bad day for that guy. That's what I do with vampires when they're sucking my energy. If I notice it, usually they're so weak they can't fucking do anything. And Jesus busts their ass long before I'm even aware of it. So, but, just another little tip for people out there. That's what we do. Or send them your shitty underwear. <laughs> that'll that'll put a, take the taste out of their mouth of your energy, won't it? Anyway, guys. That's what happened last night. I'll tell you anything else that happens. Later, guys.